Uh, let's turn now to the All Blacks. The All Blacks have made just one injury enforced change to the team to face Ireland in Dublin on Sunday morning. Sonny Bill, Billy, well, Sonny Bill Williams, let's try that again, is out with a shoulder injury he picked up last week um, in the win over England, meaning that Ryan Crotty starts at second five with Anton Leonard Brown coming onto the bench. It's the All Blacks penultimate test of the end of year tour and pits the world's two top ranked sides against each other. Joe Porter joins us now live from the Wellington studio. Hi Joe, so uh, Steve Hansen sticking with his strongest side, why has he decided to do that? Well, look, it's all part of this plan to build up towards next year's World Cup in Japan, where, of course, the All Blacks will be chasing their third successive World Cup title. So in, Austra sorry, in Japan against Australia, they treated that match against Australia like a crunch pull game they had to win, like replicating a World Cup tournament next year. Then, of course, they play Japan. That's like replicating an easy pull game. Then they go to England at Twickenham. It's like a semi-final, and this weekend is the final against Ireland, so to speak. So they're essentially trying to replicate their run through a World Cup like it would be next year and having to win these two crunch knockout games in a row, England last week, Ireland this week, probably their two biggest contenders in next year's World Cup. So it essentially gives the All Blacks a dummy run at how they need to prepare, how they need to be, and that's why he's picked his strongest side possible to see if they can go on again and after a big match last weekend, back that up against an Irish team who will be desperate to claim their first ever win over the All Blacks on home soil. So do you think that the, the game against Ireland is going to be bigger than, than the one against England? Bigger, maybe not the right words, certainly 80,000 people at Twickenham and the Sands fans singing Swing Low Sweet Chariot to drown out the hucker, maybe not quite so bigger, but as far as challenges go, Ireland are the better team. They're the Six Nations champion, they won the Grand Slam this year, beating all five other nations in the Six Nations, so England, Wales, Italy, Scotland of course as well. Uh, they've had a much better record in recent times against the All Blacks than the English, and they're very, very good at Lansdowne Road at home in Dublin, so they're certainly the form team of the Northern Hemisphere sides, and we all know they beat the All Blacks for the first time in Chicago in 2016 and, and almost did the same to them a few weeks later in Dublin. So it should be a re really big challenge for an All Blacks team against an Irish team that's in good form and are well coached, well prepared and have not had too many injury worries. So do you think the All Blacks are vulnerable because it was such a narrow win at Twickenham? Yeah, look, I think the Irish will be smelling a little bit of blood in the water it's around the All Blacks and their invincible aura. It's not there so much this year. They've leaked quite a few tries in defence this season, more than they have in the past. 20-odd tries, I think, which is much more than they have uh, in the last 11 matches than they previously would have. So they've, they've certainly defensively been a little bit vulnerable. Again, one point win over England last weekend. The All Blacks having to hold off at the very end and, and a, a late controversial refereeing decision allowing them to hold on to the win. So I think people sniff the All Blacks are a bit vulnerable and that there's that little bit of element of invincibility has left their aura and that they're certainly right for the picking. However, the All Blacks are favourites, they're the world number ones and the Irish will need to produce a pristine performance to upset them in Dublin on Sunday. So what would a win mean for the All Blacks then? Well look, it gives the, whoever wins a psychological edge going in, into next year's World Cup. It's officially or unofficially the battle for the world's top team even though the All Blacks will still remain the number one side regardless of the result. So whoever wins can claim the world's best title going into next year's World Cup year. They can also claim they've you know, beaten all the top teams this year, which they have done. If Ireland beat the All Blacks, they've beaten everyone. So, and the All Blacks, of course, they need to beat Ireland so to make sure that their fans know they can, they can combat this Northern Hemisphere style of game that they're a little bit unused to. Uh, and it also gives them a psychological edge at the World Cup because these two teams could very likely meet in the quarterfinals or the semifinals next year in Japan. So, Joe, before you go, Tana Umanga has stepped down as the Blues coach. Yeah, step down might be a sort of a relatively <laughs> politically correct way to put it. I think he, he sort of was jumped slightly before he was pushed. Look, he extended his contract in May uh, uh, through to the end of next year, but it wasn't a very good Super Rugby season for the Blues. It hasn't been for the past few seasons. But instead of, I guess, throwing the baby out with the bathwater, they've demoted Tana Umanga, and he's ac accepted that role to defence coach, promoting Leon McDonald, one of of course, Umanga's former All Black teammates to the, to the head coach's role. So they obviously feel like McDonald can breathe some fresh life into the struggling Super Rugby side and give them the results they've been craving for so long. But they still feel like Umanga's a, a big part of their picture and a part of their culture and club. And, and luckily for them, Umanga has looked past the ego and past the pride and has decided to take the knock on the head and step down to the, to the defence's coach's role for the better of the team. So we'll see what, what happens there. Umanga still has hopes of coaching. Uh, at, at the top level in the future, so we'll see what happens. But hopefully a better year for the Blues next year. But yeah, a little bit of a coup there. Leon McDonald usurping Tana Umanga. Thank you, Joe. That is Joe Porter. Uh, looking forward to the game there with the All Blacks in Ireland on Sunday.